Alright, good evening. I've been feeling less than stellar today, so I'm going to cleanse everything with a nice bit of into the airlock. It's what I was hoping until our Captain Dadovic decided to go with the worst ship in the game. No, I'm not talking about Stealth C. We're talking about Rock A. I do not like this whatsoever. Because from the very start, you are entirely reliant on missile weapons, and it makes every miss feel that bit worse. But what can you do? We've got Captain Daruvik. Yes, Daruvik. In charge, the question is who are our two crew going to be? They have, of course, chosen to play on hard mode. And we're in the Mighty Geode. Was that it? I hope that was it, because I sure wasn't paying much attention. Where are we looking? Rock A, get those missiles on lock. Hard difficulty, the mighty Geo. Ah, I got it all right in a heartbeat. Alright, so who's our crew then? We've got uh, Bean Man 500 who says, totally me. And although I think Mallet is an excellent name, uh, Metal Slime Hunt claims they'll be the, miss uh, the Missile Master. Putting the miss in missile, I suppose. Alright, Metal Slime Hunt insofar as that... Oh, Metal Slim! Not to knock your name too much, but that's a much better name. Alright, so Captain needs to be the brightest of all. Beanman Brown is kind of good for you. What's a more metallic? Mm, no, I, I'll have you as the coal man. That looks great. Okay, Mighty Geode, let's go. Ugh. Soil of Flays will call, uh, cause hull damage, good to know. Okay, so, our ship, it's it's not rubbish. No, who am I kidding, it is rubbish. We've got the Artemis, which is a fairly standard rocket launcher, it's going to do 2 damage, has a so-so wind-up time. And there's the hull missile, which you can make a cup of tea in the time it takes to charge up. It also only does 2 damage, but it will do 4 if you hit a uh, systemless room. Either way, we're going to be chugging those 28 missiles that we start with. Rock plating is pretty good for a couple events at least. Our systems are all pretty rubbish. We need a new weapon, and we need a new weapon fast. Will we get a missile run for once? Well, it's going to have to be out of necessity. Now, here's a store. It might sell us some goodies. We wouldn't be able to afford it unless we sold the rock plating. So let's do a couple of jumps and then hope that it comes to us. We start off in civilian sector. I don't know if that's always the case or not. There are still things I don't know about this game. So, as is always the case, our crew get to make the decisions. And here's our first one. We've got a rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. They got drones, they got a rocket, they got a heavy laser. What are we going to do? Go to the store, sell both the missiles for a laser. Whilst tempting, probably not the smartest thing to do, because unless it's a really good missile, we have nothing else to hit an enemy with. So Bean Man wishes to intervene. Nobody else is saying anything. Oh, Darovic might be, but I can't read anything that's not in red. But Metal Slime is saying kill the rebel scum, so that's what we're gonna do. They don't know who we are, apparently. Well, let's change that. I don't want to get shot by those, uh, those rockets of theirs. However, it's... Ah, oh, damn, I don't want to... Oh, that was very fortunate of us. Uh, sadly, though, there's no hull for us to hit with this hull missile launcher, but we can have them not dodge. Yeah, just look at how expensive this gets. Whew, at least they didn't lay a finger on us. We had to use five missiles to destroy them. We got a decent haul for it, but we can't keep doing that. Actually, that was an excellent haul for our first jump. Truly excellent. Let's try and keep that up, shall we? We have more exploring to do. I really want to hit up that store, but we need more scrap. Marvin points out that we have a lot of doors here. Yes, we do. Okay, so speaking of lots, we're now going to be attacked by this pirate and scepter who wants a small fee so that we can continue on our way. I have never paid this toll before, 
probably not going to start now unless our team insists on throwing our scrap away. He's got a burst mark too, which is pretty painful, and a beam, which can be also a bit painful. But the captain and crew insist that we reject this offer, and once again they have no hull for us to destroy with our hull laser. Uh, hull missiles. Well, let's just hope we can take down burst before it takes us down. I'm hoping. Okay, we got pretty damn lucky there. Pretty damn lucky. Let's not have them dodge us, which is going to be a huge problem if they do. And let's not have them hit us either. Oh. It's very important to stop them from dodging us. I don't want to lose missiles when we don't have to. Getting pretty good on the fuel for the starting, and uh, the scrap is just an extra bonus. No distress beacon to be had up here. I really want to hit up that store and get something that is not... Uh, is not missile dependent. Now, Beanman says, Jake, please get luckier. We could not have been much uh, luckier up till now. Scan show a report, uh, remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. Now, if we had fire weapons, we'd get a big haul here. Sadly, we do not. So if we were Rock B, this would go better. Do we attack pirates, or do we just ignore them as they set fire? Well, they wish they could set fire to this uh, this planet. Pirate scum have no place in this galaxy attack. Very well. Oh, check that hull, finally. Two, and one, two, three, four. Okay, we can have this done in three shots if we're lucky. So they want to give up because they're terrible at this pirating thing. Are we going to let them go with their 319 offer? Or can we not forgive them? It's also a good point for you to say we'll never accept surrender. Because we had that once before. Where our, uh, our crew decided they're not ever going to want to accept surrender. Metal Slime Hunt wants to give mercy. But Captain wants to press the attack. Gotta get more bank for those missiles. Very well, we attack. Oh, it appears that there's a fire spreading throughout there. Bean Man, I want visuals. Well, that's not good enough. Yeah, that was a pretty terrible haul. What did the settlement have to say? We appreciate what you've done, there'll just be another ship looking to profit from our isolation. Sorry we can't give you more. Well, you've already given us uh, all of our rockets back for that encounter. And 66 scrap is nothing to sniff at. Let's head up that store and pray that they've got some damn good weapons. Let's send an away party to check it out. Well, these are weapons. They all suck. Pretty badly, actually. And whilst I always love long-range scanners, we could really do with, you know, anything else. A combat drone would be pretty nice, but we're extremely low on, well, drones. Hmm, hull laser is good, Jake. Go for it. The hull laser is... it's pretty good at doing damage, I'll give you that. Hmm. Hmm. But then there's hull beam. Nah, hull beam is a is a disaster. Next door surely has better weapons. Yeah, but next door is uh, we don't know how far away it is. We'd get forty for selling a rock plating, but I kind of like having that around. Who knows? We might get into crystal ship territory. But we might also deeply regret, uh... Hell, I don't know, why don't we leave it to the captain's choice? Are we gonna get the whole laser, or anything else for that matter? Rock people go great with fire, if only we could have fire plus boarding. Could always bank on a random glive beam floating in space. Damn, would I love glive. But he is very rarely there for you. 
Hull laser over breach missile. Very well. It's ours. Which means we could sell the hull missile, but keeping it could open up opportunities for us. I mean, you never know when you're going to run into a situation where the lasers are not going to work for you. But selling this would make us good bank right now. Good for getting, you know, double, uh... Because Artemis can take down shields and then Hull Laser can just smash everything else. Farewell. Artemis ain't that bad, really. So there's a single ship at this beacon hailing us. We could really use some help. Our FTL navigation system is shot. Can you help us get to a nearby station where they can patch us up? Also, I really wanted to buy those long-range scanners and I forgot to. Damn. Well, I'm not going back for them. Do we accept or do we decline? Captain wishes to accept those offers. We're getting uh, getting all the fuel we can. Oh, and another store. And the quest is in the worst possible place that it could be. Actually, that store is in a horrible place. Uh, wait, everything is in a horrible place here. One, two, dit, 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 boom. Exit, quest, and bat. Oh man, this is all horrible. It's all really horrible. Oh well. We get here and somebody's giving us a pretty nice bribe from the start. They have what looks to be a dual laser mark one. Might be dual, might be single laser. And they've also got some rockets. Are we going to accept this bribe or be a hero and destroy everything we see? Now, Bean Man wants to take the bribe baby, but Metal Slime Hunt wants to restore order to the galaxy. Okay, the captain is no hero. He's taking that bribe. And to be fair, it's a pretty good bribe. Good choice, son. We've both come out richer. Ooh, Distress Beacon. I do love those. I like stores. I mean, I really like stores, but the Distress could still be for us. Okay, remember when we got fuel elsewhere? We could give these guys that fuel, or just apologize and move on. They'll never, they'll not attack us regardless of what we do. Which is good, because they got Pike Beam, which is deadly, and Ion, which is also deadly. Criminal scum run wild in space, so I'd have them running in space for sure. Metal Slime wants to be virtuous, plenty of fuel to spare. We give them a hand, and well, for 21 scrap, that was an easy one. Now we could do you, then you, then still hit the store, and then hit up that quest as well. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we're in the nebula, but relief fades away because they have mind control on the weapons. That's not good. I'm gonna have to have you guys beat each other up for a bit. I don't want to get shot by any of their anything, but I also don't want them dodging, so that's gonna have to take precedence. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This could end up being really bad. Okay, taking it back. Don't want them shooting me. Why I don't like rocket strats? <sighs> wow. Well, they won't be dodging anymore, at least. But we can probably shoot what's left of them to death. Took a couple hits, but that's not too terrible. Let us not forget, though, we do not have a uh, cloning bay, so let's not have our people kill each other. At least not too much. Excellent, now go get healed up. 
Uh, it's a collection, though. The usefulness is negligible. So a little bit of a hit. Probably made more than that back. Back to positions, everybody. I want everything ready to rock and roll. They remember their places, of course. Let's do the store. Might have some awesome weaponry for us. Okay, a whole load of nothing going. Well, weapons or augmentations, I'm not fussy. Uh, cloaking's really nice, but we'd be hard pressed to afford it. Even if we sold the rock plating, we'd still be coming up short. Page 2 has not got weapons. Reloader, drone recovery arm is amazing if we use drones, but we do not. So, a bit of a waste of a jump, unfortunately. We could fix whilst it's still relatively cheap, though. Otherwise, we got to keep going. Okay, we are not going to have a nice time getting back to this exit, but we did say we'd help people. Oh, but scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby, and the short-range scanners might find some materials while we wait. If only I'd bought those long-range scanners. Actually, ooh, actually. Shall we explore the asteroid field, or just wait? Because this could get us something really nice. If I'm remembering well, this is the starter for the crystal ship. So are we going to go for it or not? The captain wishes to explore for now, and hull damage is anathema. That's not a word I understand. So we ex Oh, wow, okay. More dangerous than we expected, did it? decides to set fire to us. Well, get on that, everybody. Damn, five damage. You know, I really hope we get the event with a slug guy who offers you something to drink. Because then you can say the rock man poses as the captain, which always gives me a good giggle when the rock man is the captain and indeed the only crew. Alright, well, let's, well, let's first have a look at the sector because you're going to have to think about this, captain. It's a hugely mixed bag. We've got Nebula and Rebels as the choice, but for now, we've got to help these people that we said we would. Huh. I mean, not too bad. We've got a free uh, free reactor upgrade. Except now we have to go and fight rebel scum, and our engines are rubbish. So we might benefit from better shields to the point where we're going to have better shields. There's little to it other than that. Now let's hope for the best. Alright, we must survive long enough. Fortunately, they don't have a teleporter. Unfortunately, a flak and triple shot, so our weapons are of no use whatsoever here. Well, the Artemis might be. We're going to hold on to that. We are, however, going to shield up and get out of here as quickly as we can, which, hilariously enough, is extremely slowly. The flak does not take long to shoot. Oh, wow. That's a good shot by them. Excellent. That's not excellent, though. We kind of need those doors. So, anti-ship battery is going to give us a little bit knock-knock again. Unless, you know, we make our way out. So, what are we going to do? I can't see anything from the captain, and it is always the captain that makes this choice. Where are we going to go? The Uncharted Nebula or the Rebel-Controlled Sector? Don't worry, though, that anti-ship battery is just going to hang around waiting for us. He says the Rebel Sector. Onwards. Glad we missed that horror. So, it took a big chunk out of our hull, because what is rock plating? Let's get our ship fixed up while we can. I'm pretty sure there's a hole in my hull here as well, so we'll fix that up. Uh, 
Oh, no, there is not. Okay. Rock men are so slow. If only we had mantis pheromones. But we don't have to worry too much. Ship is still in one piece, and so are we. And back to location, everybody. Alright, things don't get any easier here on out. Let's just kill and keep moving. Would be nice to explore all these nebulas, though. Nebula slows down the enemy advance, but we'll take the upper path first. <coughs> So, upon arriving at the beacon, we detect a stress call, and we could aid this Federation ship or try to escape. What are we going to do? It's a rebel scout, but hey, we've got Artemis on our side, right? Not to mention Hull Smasher 1. Bean Man wishes to aid, and so does Danavex. Let's help that Federation ship. Note that they do not. They are completely incapable of penetrating us. That's a fire beam, and that is a single fire. So, what can we don't even need to use Artemis here. We can put everything into dodging. We can take down their shields, and then... S yeah, we can take down their shields. And then smash that hull like it's not even there. This is assuming, of course, that their shields are going to go down in one shot. They don't really, but they did breach, so they're going to have a hard time fixing that. That's good for us. Ah, uh, this is very good that they can't actually hurt us, because otherwise we'd be here for another breach. Ooh, okay, you know what? I want to get a good look at what's going on inside that ship. Because we might be able to kill everyone by doing this. You know, especially if we also manage to breach their oxygen. Hmm. If this is of interest to me. We might be able to kill everybody. I mean, they're... Oh, damn, that didn't kill them. I thought we would do enough damage with that, but we did not. Hmm. I know I'm getting greedy, but it's what I do. Sadly, though, we are just short of killing everybody. No, I think we just gotta kill them all. Really though, one health remaining. I guess people tried to fix this, but they got lucky. Well, at the very least, Metal Slim is learning how to shoot here. They're almost at, uh, at an improvement there. And Daravik learns a thing or two. Maybe. But that's it, they're not going to, uh, they're not going to die, it's, well, not without the ship blowing up as well. Breach the oxygen, Jake, they can't repair one shot and their ship goes down anyway. If I had something like small bomb, then we can certainly do that. Oh well, it's a shame, but away you go. What does the Federation ship have to say, other than yawning? Oh no, life signs are fading quickly. If we had an upgraded medibay, we could save them, but we can't. Oh, but we do find one. The sole survivor joins the crew, and we strip it. I do like stripping things. <clears throat> so, welcome, Maria. First thing you're doing is getting on the shields. The second thing we're doing is giving you a significantly better name. The question is, who's willing to join this suicide squad? That's the question. For now, you'll be nameless. Can I be the useless human, says No Air Guy. I don't know, No Air, you've been around for a while. I think Uber Charged Christmas Tree is the one to be around. We'll just call you Uber for short. Okay, let us get... Oh, a store. Store, then here, then here, and then we can do all this. 
Come on, flack. Or, you know, anything. Well, this is all not too great. I do love hacking, but this still isn't great. Uh, man, I love long-range scanners. They're so good. That drone doesn't come with anything good. Yeah, I do really love hacking. Well, we're going to pick up the long-range scanner because I'm a huge believer in them. Otherwise, though, I think we should just fix ourselves up and be aware that we are going to be running light for this campaign. So a rebel autonomous scout is exploring the bacon. It finds us and we're about to be really glad that we have double shields. I'm also sincerely thinking about getting Artemis on the go. We still have a fair number of missiles and I don't want him, well, shielding I suppose, for starters. I don't want his shots lining up whatsoever. Alright, so this allows us to do what we want. Could take him down faster or not have him shoot at us and not being shot is priority uno. Er, uh, hmm. Some reason I had in my head that we wouldn't be dying like that. Can we wait long enough to get this repaired? I say yes we can. Alright, it dies now. Everybody back to position, that includes you. So we get our scrap, all is well, now let's get our way south into that nebula. After we do one other stop. Should have healed up Metal Slime, that was my foolish mistake. And I'm gonna really feel it, because the enemy have rockets and they're boarding us, ready to die. I sure am ready to get a promotion. Hot damn. Okay, now where are they coming in at? Well, we don't need double shields, at least we have that going for us. I think we might get those doors and start clubbing some some heads. Go and help out the captain, please. Eh, uh, hmm. Hope that rocket doesn't do any lasting damage to us. You know, like right in the weapons. could be troublesome for us. Do the old switcheroo, it doesn't matter if they hurt our... Uh... God damn, this is pretty bad. I want those weapons knocked out in the unlikely event that we manage to hit them there. But it might be better to get Artemis going since he winds up faster and does as much damage. I oh, thank god they can't rock us now. Otherwise everything is fine over here. Wait, they're still... oh snap, they're pretty good at fixing. Alright, away they go. The, uh, the boarding threat is over. Back to positions everybody, except I really want you in the metal... Uh, the metal room. The repairing room. You know, as long as this doesn't kill you. It would be tragic if it did. Now, Artemis, stop having them kill us. Excellent shot. You've healed up enough. Let's go and get everything else rocking and rolling. I don't want to eat more of these. Whew. Nah, might be better to keep all of our everything. It's a bit wasteful on the uh... ah, snap, it's up and running again. Just don't want to take unnecessary damage. Take everything we have, just don't kill us. They offer us a lot of rockets, but that's a pathetic amount of scrap. Are we going to take it, or do we simply never accept surrender?
No air guy is simply there, lamenting over Mr. Incredinoob. Metal Man wants to give some mercy. Bee Man also wants to take the eight missiles. The Christmas tree is taking it. We need more scrap. Kill him. Okay, so the captain wants to kill. However, everybody else wants to give the mercy. Apparently they are won over by eight missiles. Guess we're taking it. Always got to go with what the team says, even if it goes against the captain. So we'll get ourselves repaired up. Still very aware that we're extremely weak, but what can you do? Back to location, everybody. And we are out of here. Let's hope these long-range scanners we invested so much into can buy us- Oh, look at that! There is a heavily damaged Federation ship, and courtesy of our long-range scanner, and when there's a blue option and it's good, we go for it. We're gonna pump extra power into it, track them down. And just like that, they're thrilled to be found by friendlies, and they abandon their wrecked ship. Well then, Weston. Doors or sensors? I really like sensors, actually. Get on it. Actually, it's useless in Nebula, so get on the doors until we're out of here. Then again, then again, if it's an NG, I'd rather they were on the shields. Something that you might have to fix really fast. But Weston is a terrible name for an NG. We need somebody a lot better. Question is, who's going to join in as Weston? I think this is no air guy's time to shine. There we go. We're meeting the diversity quota. Alright, somebody might need help? Maybe, but we've still got plenty of nebula to check out here. Oh dear, before we have time to scan, warnings are going off. A rebel teleporter has been used in one of the stations and we've been boarded. And again over there, yeesh. Mm, eh, quite a few of them, isn't there? Try all they want there, but I want to make my way right here and fight them on my terms. Oh well, you know, help if I powered this damn thing. And all is well. Wasn't a complete loss, we got a little bit of fighting experience. Well, Daravik did not, they just sit back and watch as Bean Man and Metal Slim crushes everybody. So open those doors, get the oxygen flowing throughout the ship so that everybody's happy. Good. Mmm, Ion Storm. Sounds risky, but I like it. Speaking of risks, we got a ship here. Are we going to take them to the... Where do they want to go? Plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Are we going to help them out, or just leave them here to their fate? Could be a trap. Also could take us somewhere we don't want to go, but they often give down payment. Uber insists that we lead, Daravik agrees. Let's help him out, they give some scrap, and... Mm, that's kind of maybe not where we want to go. I think we're going to be fighting the Federation again at this rate. Nebula, 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 no, Nebula, Nebula, Nebula. Neb, Neb, Neb. Quest, boop, boop, and out. That's probably how it'll go. Don't like hitting up the Ion Storm when we have this slow everything. Might need just a bit more power since I think it rounds down. Alright, well, let's hope for the best. Actually, it didn't say there's a ship here. This might be good for us. Automated Rebel Scout. 
Okay. Oh, that's not okay. They got a beam drone and a regular attack, and I only have almost no power here. We can have just enough to get the shields up to survive all this, but we wouldn't be able to breathe as well. Alright, get those shields up, please. There we go. Alright, we can survive this just barely, courtesy of the upgrade that we just did. That's good. Well, with oxygen maxed out, as soon as it is maxed out, hold your breath and let's do this. First thing to go is they're dodging. Next, um. Actually, if we take out their ability to. Um, to beam us, then all we need is one bit of shield. And then we can put our power into hull, uh, hull laser. Great. I would also like them not to dodge us or not to avoid us, but I'm super tight. Might be better to get our money's worth here. No dodging on my watch. Okay, that can't repair because we just breached it, so all is well. My economics just can't be messed with. Away you go. Alright, all is exceptionally well. Fuel, drones, scrap. Let's power down that to be able to shield up maximum and jump our way out of here because we got trouble. And more, uh, more Ionius Nebula, which is also pretty bad for us. So we cross paths with another automated rebel fleet. Well, that's kind of par for the course in these situations because we're in Rebel Factory. Now, as long as they don't fire three ions at us, we're good. They have the ability to fire three ions at us. So get good, NG boy. Question is, do I want to knock him out? Because I would like him to not dodge. Then I would like him to not fade away. That's good. And it won't get fixed either. Now let's not have him. Well, I guess shield. Then we can deal. Well, no, let's not have you shoot us. That would be bad. Phew. Just as well, because that beam would be killing us right now. Feels good to make all the right decisions. Is FTL more of a roguelike like or a roguelike like like? It's a roguelite. Okay, uh, it's gonna take a while before that whole laser really wants to work again, but they can't shoot us so good. Takes a long time, thank goodness Metal Slime learns a thing or two. We also get to increase our dodging, which is way too shabby. I'm just so tight when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to missiles. I'd say economical, rather. So it explodes, substantial collection of useful scrap material, and we get an augment. It's a pretty damn good augment if you have a clone bay. However, we do not have a teleporter, and I don't particularly plan to get one. So let's just keep on going. Another ion storm. We could increase our power a bit more, but we're good at holding our breath. Alright, so we jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships are looming in the shadows. Are we going to search the wreckage for survivors and equipment, or avoid the risk? Somebody could die, but we might get something really good. Uber wants to run away, Bean wishes to search. Oh, we've got five people, we can afford to trim the fat here. Overwhelming support for searching, that's what we're going to do, and... Well, I'll be damned. Within the ship graveyard, you find a ship that seems relatively untouched. We take the unconscious passenger back. They don't bolster our diversity, 
but they might just help us out. We're not breathing here, so let's change that. And now we have somebody to work the sensors, and indeed a full crew for this. Unfortunately, they've got a really crappy name, so who wants to be the artificial man? Ah, that did come up pretty nice six on the dice there. Okay, Hoverless the Forgettable wishes to join in, which is funny, because they're getting tucked away in the very corner of the ship. You know, to do a job that can't be done here in the nebula. Let's go and do that quest. Hope that it wasn't a trap. It was not a trap. They patch us up and they sell us stuff. Including some... Mm, Ion, Bar uh, Ion Blast Mark II is an extremely good weapon. We are going to have to buy that. The question is what we sell for it. And the answer is we sell Reconstructive Teleport. Farewell. Now, it's a good point, you might be thinking, that we don't have the power to use the Ion Blast Mark II, but it's something we can work our way up to. This hull laser has been a seriously good buy right now, that it has. Mm, we'll need an extra two power if we want to use the Ion Blast with the hull laser, but that's probably exactly what we're going to do. It is indeed too good to turn down. I wouldn't sell the Artemis, it's still pretty good in a pinch. But we need a lot of power for our weapons right now. We need 85 scrap to be able to use these two together. And that doesn't even account for being able to actually run the system. I'm glad he fixed us up as well. Now we could sell the rock plating to help us along with that, we'd almost have enough. But... I kind of like rock plating. I will pose it to the captain, actually. Would you like to sell the rock plating or not? I mean, it's a super long shot that it would ever help you, uh, or that you'll ever get the crystal ship thing. But it's a lot of scrap to get. There's a question for the captain. Meanwhile, since I'm the general, I'll just enjoy a nice drink. Whilst we have Bean Man, who's desperate to be able to fend off enemies, simply saying sell, sell, sell. Still, the captain says we hang on to it for now. Rock plating? Okay. The crew is shouting at him to sell, but captain's word is law. We keep it. We're in for one rough ride. At least the ion weapon's good for events here. Let's keep on jumping. And Darius says, I started working from home just so I could watch you all day. That's only slightly creepy. Well, we got an empty jump here, which is a pain, but this is not empty. It is a uh, Rebel Automated Ship. It has a drone system and it has ion, but we got a couple of shields. We might be okay. Storage vessel for military goods sounds awesome. Are we going to attack, or are we going to avoid provoking this ship? That's the question. What's the answer? Captain wants to get that storage cache. Putting the cache in storage cache, we might get some nice weapons. We're going to go eat, so let's attack. Okay, so they have attack drone and ion, but with two shields we should be alright. We should be safe. But we need to knock out first is dodge, and we can shoot him with lasers all we want. Actually, we shouldn't have to use our rockets whatsoever. Should. Oh. Well, not sure I want to risk that. Oh, damn. Because that can happen. Alright, we breached it so it can't repair. We're pretty safe now means we don't need to use Artemis anymore, but I still don't want him dodging. Let's just bring him down. It'll take a while, unfortunately, but... Oh, wow. It'd be nice if he didn't dodge us so much. <sighs> takes so long to wind this thing up. Yeah, those military goods are going to rust away at this rate. Well, we took down his dodge, but only ever so slightly. When it comes to these automated assault drones, they tend to have really good dodge. So their engines end up being really high.
I'm happy for him to keep eye oning us because it's getting Dadovic and Bean Man better at dodging. Which is important for us. In fact, if you really wanted to cheese the game, you could max them out on their dodge here and now. But I'm not. I'm not needing that. With that speed, how will you deal with a ship that's trying to get away? We'd be using a lot more rockets, which is part of the reason why I'm being so very tight with them. Okay, not only can he not dodge, he can't even repair his dodge. That's really precious. Well, I said they tend to have awesome engines. He had, I think, level 2 engines. That makes two of us. Let's pray for something awesome here. And pray for the ability to escape the rebel advance, because they're about to do nasty things to us. We could upgrade our engines, of course. 16 scrap, and... Nice! Would be nice if we actually had a drone system, but still. That's equipment that could be sold later on. Now... I'm thinking it's worth it to get the faster FTL alone here. I know we need the weapons, but we're going to need to survive this next jump. And there's going to be something really unpleasant there. Also, this will at least ensure that the engines don't die immediately. However, it brings us further away from getting our weapons the way we want it. <sighs> Just the engines should be fine. Because we are not going to be shooting anything other than arty. Let's go. Yeah, Reza, where did the months go? Okay, there's a lot we don't like about this. Another horrible jewel laser. And more rockets. It's all bad. Hey, rock plating! We resisted the damage altogether, which is awesome. I'm almost glad we didn't sell it, but not quite. Okay, and the door system is down, but we're not going to eat any more damage. We're not going to eat any more damage, unless our name is Uber, because, well, he's not delivering Uber Eats today. Alright, we're safe. So, the question for you, Captain, are we going to crush Manti or pirates? Dr. Skull Crusher on board, I'm sure, is happy for either. But in the end, it's up to you. I wonder how Uber feels about that, just getting shot to shreds. Captain says Manta, I never liked those bugs very well. Despite desires from the team to go with the, uh, the pirates. So you get all repaired up, you're good at what you do, so... Fix that up on the double, please. Then get yourself repaired up. Hoverless can fix the door system. No, it's Uber, I forget. Hoverless is the guy, well, who puts the forget and I forget. Those doors will be good as new in no time. And everybody goes back to position. Just air that system out for you. So, might as well take on the possible ship detected first, even though we are really not well equipped for dealing with Manti right now. Well, it's not going to change until we find ourselves another 50-odd scrap. In this fragile form, I require a small dose of air every now and then, says no air guy. We did not fight a uh, war to let a fi fight. Okay, they can do some serious damage to us with their configuration there. Some really serious damage. We need those weapons knocked out before they kill us. Oh, wow, what a horrible place for you to be. Okay, Hoverless is going to take the brunt of this. So, away you go, and in you go. Let's get as much dodging as we can right now, though we're going to need it. Oh, damn. So do they. Ooh. It's alright. Never needed that. Back to positions, everybody. Thank God. 
So until they get that fixed, we're okay. But we need those shields then or else we won't do anything else. I did that just to level you up. Uh, I do like having those shields working, but we'll have you fix the medibay while we're at it. Right, your dodging is bothering me. Let's... Oh, okay. It'll continue to bother me for a while, I see. Mm. Not get back to positions. Oh, dear lord. We're getting the full... Uh, rock ship experience right here. This would be funny if it wasn't so tragic. Alright, no more dodging. In fact, they get to enjoy a whole heap of fire right now. We need to give them much the same to their shields so that we can start crushing them elsewhere. Or we could do more damage to them. Yeah, it's a tough one to say. I like the way that fire's going, but there's no guarantee we'll get more of it. Let's just enjoy the fact that they are not able to dodge and remove a bit of their shield so the wind can then remove a bit of their... Mm. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to go there. Still, he's going to try to escape now. We can't have that. Ah, uh, dear. Poor choices were made. Still, can't have you escape. Now, the day is yours. Show us honor by allowing us to leave with our lives. Are we going to accept that offer, which has minuscule scrap, but six fuel? Or do we simply not accept surrender? Our weapons are still primed, and we would be uh, rolling out a lot more rockets to kill this guy. Metal Slime Hunt wants to accept surrender. No air says never. All life is temporary. Kill. Bean says accept. Daravik says can't accept for the paltry ten. Three say no, including the captain. So it's it's perfectly split, but the captain says we can't accept that paltry scrap, even though it's six fuel. I guess we do not accept surrender. Alright, you know what's really not fun? Not having this repaired right now. We might still need it. Mmm, I like those shields working. Really like those shields working. Ah, oh, jeez. We got so lucky there, we did not deserve it at all. Okay, half the fuel, but double the scrap. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay, there's a whole load of nothing going on here in the Mantis controlled sector, and I often forget to repair our people, so let's do that right now. Once everybody's back up to full health, we just smash that enter button, and everybody's back to position. Whew. Close. But we made it. There are not so many parts of Mantis space that aren't dotted by the wrecks of battles, but we take a moment to relax, and oh boy. We go the high road or the low road? Pulsar? Distress? Distress? Okay, we got a lot of killing to do down here. I like the sounds of that. But we need that, uh... Oh my. <clears throat> Remember when we were offered loads of fuel? So somebody is offering us we don't know exactly what if we give them a bunch of fuel. We could do so or just wish them luck and continue on. What are we going to do? Now I'm not scared of running out of fuel. But I am scared of not having enough to put up much resistance for this game. Murder is good for the soul, Jake. I don't disagree, but what are we going to do? Okay, it seems that the crew wish to give them fuel. Give them fuel, give them fuel. And... Scrap. Well, that's enough to get ourselves ionizing. Just. Uh, actually, the sacrifice we must make to get the ion blast going is pretty high. But it's not insurmountable. We would have to surrender dodge or breathing or something like that. I'm willing to do that. 
Not so happy with the complete lack of, uh, of the fuel we have there. So we overhear some mantis com chatter. Negative, I have killed more humans. We gulp, but they have not seen us. Also, we see that their weapon setup is not tremendously good, especially since we can ion blast through that shield and then hull laser them to death. Are we going to kill them? They can't teleport on us, also worth knowing. Time to get killing. Exterminate the bugs. Very well. Uh, well, only a couple of bugs there, and they only have a single firing heavy laser. So, question is, what do we dodge in favor of uh, being able to do that? Well, I think the clue is in the name. Dodge. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I do like a bit of dodge. We don't need to breathe that badly. So, we're going to auto-fire on their shielding so that the hull smasher can do its job. And, you know, smash some hulls. Okay, now what do we take? Oh, I did not notice that small bomb. There. Uh, hmm. Don't like them shooting us right now. I don't like not being able to breathe either, especially since I had that deactivated. At least this will get uh, Metal Slime Man extremely quickly leveled up. You know what, we could have this over faster if we just destroy the damn ship. And now we don't need to dodge anymore. Never did. That is indeed a halberd beam. And that is a ship that does not exist anymore. Just like our medical facilities. Out of it, you're not able to dodge anyway, just kill the damn ship. Ooh. It's kind of impressive what you did there. Ion 2 is indeed crazy. It is a uh, method in itself. And one I can really get behind. So it explodes, we don't get a lot for our trouble, but we do get something. Let's have Captain heal himself up. Can't even afford a uh, better reactor, and that's something we need really badly. Because just look at what we have to sacrifice to go forward with this build. It's heavy on the weapons this early on. It's okay though. Ah, dangerous electromagnetic pulsars. Dangerous for us. But killing ships is something we're going to need to do if we want to... Oh, hang on. Our ion plus the ion that that's going to supply could be amazing. Could be amazing. <clears throat> I mean, we might get shot as well. I thought we'd been doomed to backorder assignments. This is my chance. Mm, that's not so good. That's able to shoot down our uh, our ion blast, and that is able to do a lot of damage to us. One, two, three, four, five shots. So the rock plating is on our side here. We don't need to breathe where we're going. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess we can auto-fire in the hopes that that thing doesn't always ruin our day. Oh dear. Alright, so let's assess the damage here. We have no shields. They have no shields. <clears throat> Their weapons are still going though. <coughs> Again! Right, what else? Their drone is still active. Perhaps we should stop them from droning or shooting. Ah, stop the droning. There we go. Now, I really don't like the idea of them shooting us some more. Let's try and knock that out a bit. Well, we knocked it out a bit, I'll give it that. But we're about to eat some humble pie here. Wow! Undeserved, but I'll take it. And what do I want shot anyway? I want them taken out. Oh, right, damn, it wasn't, uh, wasn't aiming at anything useful there. Hmm. At least our weapons are still going full power here. Whilst theirs are full nothing. <clears throat> okay, well, at least we shot something useful. Okay, we're going dark. We're going pretty damn dark here. 
Their weapons are back online, at least their shields are still down. I really want this ship taken care of on the double. Okay, that was very promising for us. Ah. <laughs> what goes now? Okay, nothing too serious. Except that's back in action. Can't have that. And their weapons are back in action. We can't have that either. No need to breathe where we're going. So they're going to try and make their swift getaway. We've got to blow them up now. Some way, somehow. It's not so easy when our weapons aren't working, so we need to hope that we can get a double shot in here. Otherwise, I'm going to close up. We need that fixer fixed on the double. We need to be able to breathe too as it happens. Come on, we need a good shot here. Home clear. Except are we going to take this offer of surrender? It includes five fuel that we need, uh, but only 12 scrap and a drone that we don't need. We might get better if we blow them up, we also might not. There's also a slim chance that they could get away. We don't know how much power their, uh, their piloting has. Bean Man wants the fuel, so does Air Guy, so does Ubercharged Christmas Tree. That's already three for the fuel. And Dadovic says, take the fuel, let them live for the fuel. <laughs> See them now. Lots of people accepting surrender here, even though they keep shooting us half to death. Oh well. Alright, we got a lot of healing that we need to do right about now. Okay, no, the Pulsar is no real trouble for us. Everybody's fully healed up anyway, so we just need to get our shields up and on the go. Because I hate jumping without good shields. And away we go. Imagine jumping into combat with no shields. Who would do that? Personally, I'd have stuck with Federation, but I'm a soldier, sir. No use with a war without a war to fight. Uh, ooh, defense and anti-combat. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of everything then. Not breathing though. We do not need that. So let's take care of those shields and then take care of their ability to shoot us. Actually, we could take care of those weapons straight away. Oh man, what do they got against that room? Oh. Yeah, they really got something against that room. Alright, well, we do not need double shields. We know that much, so let's at least breathe for a change. Can't see an easy way to kill everybody on board, sadly. Nor is there a systemless room to make good use of our hull laser. But as long as they don't hurt us, we're groovy. As long as they don't hurt us, he says. Alright, well, they're trying to make a getaway. We'll do what we can about that. Like this. Alright, well, they won't be jumping since they can't... Uh, well, probably can't make a getaway. But are we going to accept their offer or simply not accept? The jump is imminent, which is kind of dangerous for us. Halish just simply says we have eight times the hull we need. We do indeed have eight hull. They need to all die, says Bean Man, so that's for killing. Kill the oath breakers. Well, they probably took an oath to serve and die. But more mercy says metal. But no, lots of people want them dead. We are not accepting surrender then. Still, this is dangerous. If they fix that, then then we in trouble. 
That was too close. Too damn close, they just about jumped. Thankfully my skillful ironing fixed that. We got a bit of fuel, a bunch of scrap for our troubles. Right, this total lack of power is really hurting us. We're changing it right now. There we go. Now we can somewhat function and have all of our weapons going. It's still slow because the hull, takes a the hull laser takes ages to wind up. Close to the sun is not something I'm wanting to risk at this tiny amount of hull. And it must be borders since it's otherwise empty, so let's head up. So we've got a mantis ship hunting in the distance. It's got a small bomb and it's got what looks to be a two shooting laser. Which means it probably can't penetrate our shields unless they're really skillful. Are we going to aid a civilian ship or just stay out of it? Newster pops in to say hello and wishes us good luck in the FTL run. Good luck is integral for FTL. They need our help. Attack, says the bean man. Uber Charger says, civvies are innocent until they betray us. We've got to help them out. Let's give them that aid. Not today. They do have a teleporter, though, but with such a small crew, it's very possible that we can kill everybody. Well, let's, uh... Yeah, that Artemis is getting my way. Let's do it this way. Take down those shields until further notice. So, this is kind of good. He can die, for starters. You guys can get in there. Oh man, that was foolish of me. I keep forgetting whenever I take someone off of the doors. So... He dies nice and fast. But I don't want that thing functioning. Back to positions, everybody. I want to try my hand at this. Hey, 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 goodbye, Mantis Man. Okay, now I need to figure out how to kill. Oh, I did not consider that. No, sir, I did not. All right, get dodging, or get. Um... Well, there's lots of things we can get here. Double breach is one of them. One that I'm remarkably proud of. Good job. He probably won't be able to fix that in time. And I could just shoot him right here and right now. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, good chance to kill him. Yeah. Yeah, this is our time to shine. Oh, damn it. Count on that. He's still gonna die though. Hehe. <laughs> and once we eliminate this, he won't be able to restore. <laughs> won't even need to shoot it proper. Everybody's dead, we strip it for a surprisingly low haulage, and then we contact the civvies and they say absolutely nothing because they ran away. God, I hate civilians so much. No air guys, just saying I'm dying. Look, you're fine now. Quit moaning. Still, we took another bit of hull damage, which is seldom good. The exit has only one way in. One, two, three. Let me think. One, two... Yeah, we've probably got to do that. Now, nah, what's with the awful exits for this uh, this run? really have much choice. I accept death in all its many glories, but I'm ready for it. Very good. Uh, it's awful. I hate empty jumps, but fit kinem in deep. Well, you know, it's not impossible to get uh, two jumps and still be safe. But I'm not willing to risk it on this hull, this dodgy hull. Sure. 
So we find a rebel automated scout floating around this sector. Uh, are we just going to scrap the thing? Or are we going to download its data sco uh, stores? 11 scrap frankly ain't jack, but they do have hacking and we don't know what they're going to hack. Mind you, Ion Blast Mark II is kind of like hacking, where you hack a system's life. Don't risk it, says Hoverless. Daravik says just strip the ship, scrap the damn thing. Okay, nobody wants to uh, Nobody wants to take it on. We'll take our money for nothing and continue on our merry way. Uh, our ship does not look good. Alright, you can s you detect and retrieve an escape pod floating nearby, and we consider returning it to space when we learn that it's Mantis. So we're going to jetson the pod or pry it open. Are you willing to risk it for a Mantis addition to the crew? We're already over and above on the crew that we have. Well, we're at exactly the number that we need. But come on, we got a useless human on board. Pry it open. I'm ready to die. Okay, it seems the crew want to pry this damn thing open. Let's do it. Oh, Metal Slim. You're dead. Damn, he was really good at mining those, uh, those weapons as well. So, we lost our beloved Rockman. The question is, who amongst you want to get on the weapon systems? Because we got to learn how to do that. Yeah, I think it's Hoverless's time to shine. It's all part of my plan to become relevant, he says. Uh, okay. I wonder, did Metal choose this fate? Something about discretion and valor. Well, they're very dead now. Alright, learn your new positions, everybody, and let's carry on with our lives. <laughs> Unless your name is Metal Slim, because then you're dead. So we have a small platform. It's a refueling station, and it's broadcasting reasonable prices. Are we going to dock to refuel? You know, we're only going to have enough for two jumps in the next sector. Or are we going to ignore it altogether? I sincerely doubt it's going to blow up our ship entirely, even if it goes wrong. Uber wishes to dock, as does the captain. They want that fuel. So, the automated system seems to be damaged. You can likely steal as much fuel as remains. Are we going to steal, or does war not justify abandoning our values? Are we going to leave it alone, or drain that puppy dry? My choice, of course. I'm not a monster. But <laughs> Uber sums it up in one word. He says, yoink. If you take the fuel, at least it won't come into the hands of the rebels. You've reached containment, access what reserve. Uh, oh, very nice. So, here's our question now. Do we hit up the Zoltan homeworlds or the Slug Home Nebula? The Zoltan will fall prey to our Ion Blast Mark II, but the Slugs will fall prey to our massive rocky fists. So what's it going to be? Drain it like an arcade machine. Well, I really hope these Zoltan want to patch us up. Zoltan Homeworlds can also give us the event where they pretty much entirely restore our hull and give us an overshield, which, gotta say, would be amazing. And the captain says it's Zoltan time. I hope you've read up on how to do that Zoltan quest thing, though. Because it's really good. Which means we're going to want to try and hit all of these, even though Nebula is extremely, extremely good. Could also up our power, but now let's keep the scrap. Might find a store selling, I don't know, flak. So a small rebel ship is docked at a small station. We try to lay low, but it powers up those we it's a lot of weapons. I think I'd rather get Artemis going. Uh, they could do a serious amount of damage with all those guns. Also, we're gonna have a hard time penetrating through that. Actually, we're not going to be able to penetrate through that. We're just gonna have to get out of here. Well, get good at dodging, everybody. Oh, we did 
not deserve that, but we got it. Yeah, we are not getting through that. Let's just be able to breathe for a change. Uh, we need to be able to do a lot of things. store. I probably want it more than this encounter, but let's take a risk. Take a huge risk. Hope they don't have drones straight away. Okay. You pick up Zoltan Lifecraft floating in space. Its inhabitants asked you to retake his ship from pirates. I'm certain it is clear that you must not destroy my vessel. Are we going to engage these pirates or leave it alone? They have ion, rockets, and something else as well. Basically, it's not going to be pretty for us. So yeah, this is pretty greedy. Bean Man says, engage, destroy, win, and be the best. No air guy wants to leave and survive another day. Asked as Hoverless, the captain wishes to engage. So we have two for engaging and three for skedaddling. Unfortunately, the captain gets overturned today. We simply leave. You refuse to get his ship back, but still offer to drop him off at the next station. Zoltan is displeased, but directs you to a nearby starbase just the same. Okay, well, let's try to survive here. We have to go for the fixing, even if my beloved fire beam is right here. Heavy ion is nice too. Sophia is nice as well. Oh, man. Well, we can get rid of the combat drone, that much we know. Do we still want the rock plating? That's a que question for the captain. Because, you know, something, something out of dosh. Toss the rock plate for the dosh? Well, that's up to the captain. It's his ship, and it came with his rock plating. So are you willing to sell it or not? I gotta say, this is one of the worst ships we've ever had at this stage in the game. Sell the plating, it's lived out its days on my ship. Farewell. That's 40 beautiful scrap, means we can have enough fuel to keep on jumping, and our hull will stay intact. Let's keep on moving. So, remember all that fuel that we just bought? Are we going to give it away to this NG bomber, or do we just apologize, wish them luck, and continue on? This will spare us two jumps afterwards if we give it to them. Or do you like living on the edge? There's the question, really. No air guy says two. No, no, it's three fuel they want. Give it away, says the bean man. Uber also wants to give. Leave the NG, we got work to do. So we're split. It's up to Hoverless to make the deciding... Where even is Hoverless? They can piss off. Well, they can only go places if we give them fuel. Well, I guess Hoverless decides that... Now we're... I'm pretty sure he means wish them luck. Please help us, they please. We really gotta get out of here. Oh, I should probably heal, heal the, uh, the crew as well. Well, this gives us the opportunity to do so. Get in there. I mean, really, our ship is so bad right now. But luck can always take a massive turn. I was expecting a lot more Zoltan encounters here. Oh dear. Uh, a few border police have beamed on board and they got some huge rockets. Fortunately, Zoltan have very little life. Alright, how are we going to do this? Oh, they really want to pick on Engine Man, hmm? Or NG Man, rather. Well, you go and have fun over the Medibay. 
We got an eye on this guy's lights out. They really want to starve themselves, they can go for it. Oh, what, the doors now? This guy's crazy. Still, though, I'm concerned about that massive rocket they have aimed at us. You're a bit slow to get there, but you barely do any damage. Probably gonna need oxygen where we're going. No, you are too slow. Get over there. We don't need to dodge, you know, except for those massive things that they got going. Alright, I'm definitely gonna need some oxygen here. Oh dear, you you almost died. Oh no! That was not planned. That was very not planned. Uber is now very dead. Having enjoyed the embrace of exploding Zoltan Man. It's probably exactly what those bastards had planned. Oh well, Bean Man, get on the dodge ring, that's what you're good at. You get back to your shielding, I suppose. Maybe once the oxygen levels out a bit. There we go. Wow, that's one big... oh shoot, we need that. Err, uh, yes. Alright. After this, we should be able to start taking down their weaponry. Hmm, we got some problems here. One is that you can't breathe. Doesn't hit anything incriminating. Doesn't hit anything at all. That's good. Alright, let's stop being shot for a change. No air guy was good at shields. Let's get him back to it. And Hoberless continues their hostile takeover of the. Uh, the weapon system, hoping to be relevant. Yeah, the loss of crew is truly saddening. Stop dodging, will you? Once I take those shields down again, we'll have another crack at the weapons. Oh, they're good at... Uh, they're good at fixing things, that's for sure. Let's hope we're good at dodging things. Yeah, really. Alright, that's them dead. And they're not dodging this. Okay, this is not going swimmingly. But we're still alive, the ship is still going, and most importantly, the captain is intact. He's a rock man, I can say that. It's probably not racist. Not taking ships intact and jumping away from a number of them really hurts the scrap intake in this game. But like I said, we're still good. Got a distress beacon to check out, or we can go here. It's a trap. This is a trap. Can't do it. Need to check everything we can. If we can get that amazing event here in the home worlds, we'll be good. The nature of the day is rotational. The fever is emaciated. The reason is they've caught some nasty deep space dementia. Before you can consider finding help for them, they open fire. 
They're being crazy, but they've... Actually, no, they can't hurt us. I mean, let's not chance it. Let's get some good dodging here. Might be able to take this ship intact, actually, especially if we breach that... Um, I want a better look at things. There's a chance we can breach their oxygen and kill them all. Hmm. Oh, that's a pretty good, um, pretty good eye on they've got though. It's not good enough, thankfully. But I really want to reach that oxygen of theirs, it would just make my day. Yeah, it's not reaching. Yeah, it's continuing to not be breaching. Yeah, I won't be able to kill them at this rate then. I can dream. Maybe miss one, hit the other with a breach. No, they're they're gonna all die with the ship, not without. Elinari R says, "Okay, what is it that makes the occasional ding sound? That's when a crew member levels up." For example, Dadovic has maximum evasion through piloting. Beanman has maximum evasion with engines. No air guy is halfway there on the shields. Hoverless has one level on weapons, courtesy of Ion Blast, because it's so fast. Okay, dangerous electromagnetic forces. I'd really rather not. I really want that uh, awesome event. Got a lot of scrap, but nothing worth spending it on right now. We do not fight a war to blah 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, this could be a problem though, they got a halberd. Well. You know how to deal with this. Don't know how to deal with that though. I like being able to dodge. That's good enough though. Unless they do exactly what they did there and take down our shields. Mm. Missed a golden opportunity to shoot them. Alright, this is taking too long. We're just going to shoot them to death. The NG are so good at what they do. Really though, if we were not going with this Ion Blast Mark II, I don't know what we'd be doing. Are we going to accept this paltry surrender of four fuel, a drone part and 13 scrap, or are we going to murder all of these rebels? It's only going to take another good volley. Uh, I don't think cloning makes the same noise, Hoverless. It makes its own kind of noise. Well, Dadovic has less of a crew to argue with, and he says death to the rebel scum. Hoverless backs him up. Guess we do not accept it. Don't accept a functional medibay either. And away you go. Wait, did they get a hit on us? I think they did. Hmm, far from a good haul there. Still, let's get everybody healed right up. The NG are slowly but surely becoming a majority in this rock ship. Not sure I can accept that. Ah, uh, 
kind of willing to risk it at this point. Really want to find those um, those Zoltan guys, even though we'll probably run into the enemy fleet by doing this. Nope, the aggressive pugilists. Oh dear God, that's a glive beam. In the best case scenario, it's only going to do one damage to each of the rooms that it hits. Fortunately, it takes a while to rev up. Unfortunately, it's still going to get a hit in on us. Oh, it's coming. Ouch. But still, that was best case scenario, so we're okay. As long as I don't fix that on the double, we're good. Now let's fix their ship. It's done too much existing. Whew. Wish we could pick up that Glive, but nope. It's nothing but scrap. Well, no encounters here. Let's make our way to the store. Probably gonna need it. So what appears to be a Zoltan science ship requests permission to dock. Are we going to dock with them or make them keep their distance? Could result in a fight, also could not. Wow, we used to be six crew, now we're down to... Well, it's not hurting as much as our hull is. Captain insists on a docking. And as long as he's backed up by one, they have the majority. Nope, they are opening fire, they are messing with Dadovic's head. All in all, this looks really bad. We gotta be able to dodge those missiles for one. Let's just have him beat up uh, Nowhere Guy for a while. And we gotta dodge, we gotta dodge pretty bad. Uh, not so good at that, are we? Back to positions, everybody, this is gonna get ugly. gonna get really ugly. Damn, I gotta, gotta take care of those weapons. Really gotta take care of those weapons. Oh jeez, we need, we need a lot of things right now. Functioning oxygen is part of it. There we go. It's almost worth our time to run away, but not quite. At least their offensive capabilities have been severely taken down a notch. Uh, but we're going to need to repair that system on the double, so get on it, please. Hopefully their shields don't repair. They're repairing. It's ah, not all they got repaired. I'd have to swallow another uh, another rocket to the Fazog. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Can't afford to eat that rocket. We have to jump. The Zoltan are fascinated by other species. That's how I've been... That's why they've been shooting us so much. Oh boy, if only we could afford that. Or, you know, most of the things on offer. But we're going to have to spend almost all of our scrap on repairing. And maybe not killing each other? Or is that too much to ask? It's probably too much to ask. I am just amazed at how bad this ship is at this stage. Jake, it was good to serve, but this ship is terrible. Yes, it is. It's one of my least favorite ships in the game. No, it is my least favorite ship in the game. Makes it all the better to survive with it, but still. 
in the interests of keeping ourselves alive, let's spend all of that. We don't need any extra other things. Drone, backup, hacking, people, none of this is... I mean, the hacking strat could work, but kind of invested in our do-no-damage-for-ages strategy. Also, we have to deal with the enemy... Uh, I'm sure nobody wanted to hear that. Let's get everything on to getting the heck out of here. Okay, huge rocket launcher, little rocket launcher, and try shot. There's nothing to be had by... Well, no, there's something to be said for trying to take down their weapon system. Oh, snap. Not fair, fair. Undeservedly good. Except you're about to die. Alright, here's the question. Do we go to the Zoltan controlled area? Or the Mantis controlled area? Crew isn't quite as good as they once were for dealing with a Manti. But something about beggars and choosers. What's it gonna be? The rebels are checking that medi bay. Yes, they are. Time to take these rebels to go. Jump to Zoltan controlled. Very well. I mean, the ion does still work best with that. It's clobbering time. There we go. Oh, wait. There we go. Why does it feel so short on air around here? Maybe it's that breach. You can do it. There we go. Well, at least everyone that matters is still alive. 21 scrap in the bank. We can do this. I don't know what this is, but we can do it. Hoverless complimenting the captain. Probably looking for a promotion here. Only two shields by this late stage as well. It's pretty horrible. And all these nothing jumps are horrible. Let's head up the distressed bacon. Hopefully it's, you know, a free glive beam. So, we've encountered a refugee ship and we can finally make a choice. It's fleeing the rebel advance and they're out of fuel. Are we going to hail them or simply ignore them? We don't even know if anyone's on board here. Figure this out whilst I take a very swift water break. Alright, I like Hoverless's shake them down approach. Uh, oh no! It's another Zoltan. And it's another Glive. Alright, let's power up. Let's power up. Mm. 
Refugees. Putting the G's in refugees here. We got a lucky shot there taking care of that rocket, but I think that might be where our luck ends here. Yeah. Actually, I kind of like breathing. Oh, I like being able to shoot as well. Such a bad run in so long, it's almost refreshing. to bits nonsense, but at least we managed to breach the weapon system. Is this a winnable run yet, Jake? Oh, heavens no. Just look at it. Mmm. I really think the hull laser is a piece of rubbish. prolong this fight too much. I just need it to be over and done with. That's not dodging anything. Gee, that kind of explosion made it look like somebody died. But no, we survived. We blew them up. We got not a lot. Let's hope that refugee ship is full of hull repair drones. Yeah, oh, wow. Okay, a good bit of luck for a change. We've got Burst Laser Mark II, which is awesome. Our uh, our weaponry just turned into something really respectable, but we need another two power to actually make use of it. We're not on a fire, are we? No, we're just not breathing. Let's change that. That is an amazing weapon to pick up. I would take it over Hull Laser Mark II most days. So it's good to have around. But we are so short on scrap for just about anything. We have five... I mean, we could get these two plus Artemis going, but the Ion Blast is so good on its own anyway. I think we'll be juggling between hull and burst. That's assuming we can survive much longer, which is, well, not looking good. All right, so they can teleport on us, they can double shoot, so the shields should hold, but they got rockets for days. Uh, we just need to do as much damage as we can to their systems right now. Also, the uh, burst laser doesn't take so long to... Oh dear, that's our captain in danger. And that's a lot of evasion gone. And it continues to go. Alright, oh, I've been forgetting to do something really important here. Alright, that's right. Get the hell out of here. fire. Not in a good way. That's a job for someone that isn't a, uh, an NG. Okay, we're gonna die if we remain here. We gotta jump out. Let's go to the comforting emptiness of the nebula. Okay. Might have another bit of good luck waiting for us here. Our long-range scanner can try to track down a Federation ship. And it's a whole load of nothing, but it's extra scrap. Also, they're still trying to kill us when we have no oxygen. And not a lot of healing. 
You're gonna have to go and try and protect them. We need that oxygen fixed up though. Or else we're all gonna die. Rockman, take care of that fire. Oh, it took care of itself. That's really good for us. It's not so good as that you're dying there. And so are you, it seems. They all have their hands full trying to destroy that, so take care of it. I think we're still on fire, though. I'm not in a good way. And she show them how it's done. Where is that fire, though? Alright, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. <sighs> I mean, we're alive. That's That's as okay as it gets. Weapons are that bad, just everything else about our crew, our uh, ship really blows. It's tempting to get some more, uh, well, everything, honestly. This will have to be what it is, though. Unless we want more power, but I will need that scrap for keeping us alive. Okay, intruders on board, and an extremely heavily armed ship is coming at us. Eye on two heavy shots, just one needed to destroy us, and a halberd. Just one shot from that needed to destroy us. In other words, we've got to skedaddly do. Oh, jeez, even more of them. Uh, I am not seeing a happy end here. There are a lot of them, sire. Oh well, let's accept our death with dignity. Huh, they're having a hard time hitting us. I guess they're really bad at what they do. Who knows, we might just be in. I mean, I don't know how, but we might just be in for it. Except they're trying to kill us here. That's dangerous for us. You're gonna die. No, we're deed. Let's just enjoy it. I gotta say, that was an awful run. But, we still made it surprisingly far for what we had. I didn't take this assignment expecting it to be easy, I took the worst ship I could find, set it to hard mode, but alas, no glory was to be found. Thank you for the opportunity, says Darovic. Well, you're very welcome, I suppose. That scratches one more off the list, though Rock Cruiser A is done. For better or for worse, actually just for worse. But it does mean we don't have to do it ever again. So what do we have left? One, two, three, four, five of the A-class ships, two of the Bs, two of the Cs. Eh, not that much left of Into the Airlock then. But it will have to resume another day. And I'll figure out what's happening now. It's all down to Lucky, as I said before. But for FTL for today, it's a case of cheers and cheerio.